All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video on my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going back to <clears throat> Matt Rose. Um, this video was uploaded, oh, actually five days ago. I, I thought it was like yesterday or two days ago. Um, but it's still a bit recent or rather recent. Um, this one's called Coworkers Can Be Idiots. And I like that title or not, because, well, I can speak a little bit from experience. I think we all can. I think we all have experienced coworkers that, well, you know. Um, so I think this is going to be quite a bit of fun, as all of his videos basically are. Um, as always, link to the original video is down in the description below. Show him some love. He's getting close to that 1 million. And let me lower my sound a little bit so my headphones don't blow my ears away. Okay, and let's start. We were playing a game at work where you name countries beginning with each letter of the alphabet A for Albania, B for Brazil, etc. Okay, Heart okay. Comes up, colleague says. Wait, 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 wait. Shit. No, no. A for Albania, I don't want to get spoiled. B for Brazil, etc. R comes up, colleague. Okay. A country with the letter R. Now. I'm gonna guess he's not gonna say a country, but like a city, something like like Rome or something like that. I'm gonna guess he's just gonna say a city with the letter R instead of like an actual existing country. Like what countries do you have with R? Like you have, for example, Romania, etc. But I am expecting he's gonna say um, a city with the letter R. So let's see what he's gonna say. He says Argentina. Wait, I think I was in the way here. Wait. Bro, that's even worse. Argentina. We were checking out Google Street View of our office. My coworker jumped up and said, I'll go stand out the front. See if you can see me on air. My oh, God, no. In IT? My coworker tried. Wait, 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 wait. Front. See if you can see me on air. My God, where do you work in IT? My. That's so much worse. Bro, literally, how? How do you work in that field if you... That's nutty. That's fucking crazy. Co-worker tried to explain to me that mice don't have bones. I heard what? two people in the lunchroom at work. It's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. How are you still older than me? What? Girl, 18, thought that pasta was harvested from the ocean floor like some sort of salt water grass. Excuse me, what? What the fuck? Um... How did you arrive at that conclusion? Like... Did your parents just tell you that when you grew up as a joke, or... What? That is so fucking weird. Like, all literally all you have to do is just... Look at the ingredient list on the pasta. That's that's uh... that is so fucking weird. One of my what? co-workers just got her first iPhone, and I mm -hmm. was explaining to her how backing up to the cloud works. Her response: Okay. Oh, what happens to the data when it rains, though? Co-worker. You gotta buy a new phone. That's that's what happens every single time. If you have an Apple phone, you upload that shit to the cloud, and it rains. Every single time you gotta buy, got, got to buy a new phone, because now everything is wet. That's how Apple sold so many smartphones. That's that's how they became the number one in the world. Bro. Food tastes better after you eat it. I have seven. Wait, 
Bro, what? 17 bottles of perfume. God, some people don't even have that many toes. Well, you're not wrong. How do you type a capital four? God, this sounds like a Yahoo Answers question. Uh, that'll be uh, four years next May. We'll have lost them. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. In the English language, Bro. if a word starts with a Q, it is almost always followed by a U. Oh, yeah. Uh, what about croissant? Gotcha. I'll play the system. <sighs> bought a venus flytrap for my desk at work one of the women That's who cool. works in hr came over to my desk and stared at it for a long time looking confused eventually she asked uh, where are its eyes Shh, he's sleeping the accountant at my former company was challenged eyes, to name what? at least one member of the beatles after five minutes he said john voldemort Lasso no joke Okay, one one member of the Beatles I could name you, but if you were like, uh, name at least two to three members of the Beatles, I would be like, um, whoops, um, like my my knowledge in dance genre is not not up to date. Work said you didn't. But if you can't even name a single one, that's that's pretty wild. Even gravity. He thought fifty percent off in a product meant it costed fifty bucks less, no matter the price. Is Japan in the Euro? Like, did he? Did the education system fail you, or are you just a failure? Like, do you not know what percentage means? European Union. She thought that. Like no joke. A cousin of mine asked me oh no he didn't ask me he told me a story um like i live in germany and germany is divided in like different different parts of the of the country and basically there are 16 parts and a classmate of her of him of him of him apparently asked the teacher if denmark was also one of those 16 parts which is like a whole different country. I mean, technically, yes, it's above Germany, but it's a whole separate country. Like some some people have like genuinely no understanding of geography or anything like that. That is so fucking wild to me. I mean, I was never a big geography fan, but I always thought it was cool to just know, you know, the basics. There are these net continents, this country is here and there. Some people, they have like no interest in that. And therefore also like zero knowledge in that area. That's really fucking weird to me. The countries in the UK were England, Wales, France and Middlesbrough. A manager at a company where I used to work asked what? me to send her a file. So I emailed it as an attachment. Five minutes later, when she was done looking at it, she asked me if I needed it back. Just last week, I had to ex- Oh. Oh, well, at least she asked. At least she, she was worried about you, that you might need it, you know? Explain to my boss that me having two computer monitors does not use more internet. Bro, I swear, some, some bosses, you ask yourself, how the fuck did you get in this position to begin with? Like, your basic knowledge of Anything in life is like so fucking minimum. How did you manage to run this company for four years? That's, that's so crazy. Co-worker, now partner, had to explain that wind isn't made by trees, that the first of a month isn't always Bro, on a what? Monday. She wouldn't believe me and told me my calendar was wrong. Polar bears are not from po But To be fair, it is confusing. If we just decided, like, like, instead of 12 months, we have like 13 months, and every single month is like 28 days, like exactly four weeks. It would be a lot easier to understand, but we don't have that. So, no, you are most, you are most definitely wrong. Poland, that the printer is not in fact low on cyanide. Dubstep is not a band. <laughs> Skrillex is my favorite song of theirs. That ice wasn't alive. Jesus. Yeah. T to be fair, I had pre previously convinced her ice was alive. 
Bro, I was about to say, how? So first, you convince... Bro, you're a piece of shit. Someone you're a piece of shit. Thought King Kong was a true story. What do you mean I need to charge this thing? It's supposed to be wireless. Guy at work, are Sorry, his laptop not turning on. You want to know something weird? I'm taller Bro. than my mum. Yeah, I'm taller. Why is that weird? My mum too. No, you don't understand. She used to be taller than me. My co-worker... Like, I would fucking hope so that she used to be taller than you at one point. Like, imagine giving birth to a baby that's taller than you. That's a fucking horror movie in the making right there. Rose. Yo. Refused to believe Peter Some people. Dinklage from Game of Thrones was a little person in real life. She was convinced it was CGI trickery the whole way through. Oh, don't get me started on that show. The girls at my old job used to watch that. <laughs> I had to explain that dragons weren't real, to which they looked up from their computers, shot what? me withering looks, and unironically said, Uh, -huh, Matt, obviously dragons used to exist. Uh, why do you think they used to have knights back then? Uh-huh. <laughs> we had to make a site. You know what? I don't blame you for it being your former workplace. Bruh. To visit, saw a sign that said 65 miles to the site, and I said something like, oh, cool, got an hour left. Co-worker asked how I knew that. I said, well, soon as we're traveling at 65 miles per hour, with 65 miles left in our trip, that's about an hour, give or... It's too complicated, maths, bro. It's too complicated for them. Take. She said that's not how that works. How fast you're going doesn't have anything to do with the time it takes to get there. The fuck? Yes, it fucking does. Bro, like basic education doesn't do anything for them. They just need... I don't know. I don't know what they need. How fast you're going doesn't have anything to do with the time it takes to get there. Bruh! My wife's color... That has got to be one of the worst takes... perhaps in human history. What the fuck? Blind, an old co-worker of mine was convinced if she wore... Wait on a second. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get out of the way so I can screenshot that and use that as a thumbnail because that shit is absolutely insane. And an old co-worker of mine was convinced if she wore all blue that my wife wouldn't be able to see her. My Gen Z co-worker. <laughs> She's a walking sc green screen. <laughs> had no idea what a thesaurus was. His best guess? A uh, dinosaur? We had a girl declare. I mean, in honest, all honesty, I think I need to look that up as well. You know, maybe it's just a... Maybe it's just a, a language barrier, you know? Okay, now it's the definition in, in, in German, so you're not going to know jack shit. Okay, okay, I think I kind of understand it. I don't think you guys got it because the explanation was in German, but maybe you knew it from the get-go. Maybe you're just smarter than I am, you know? Yes, a uh, dinosaur. We had a girl declare and it, it sounds like a dinosaur, to be honest. Her husband didn't believe in God. He was, oh, what's the word? An anesthetist. I used to work with a woman <laughs> who was absolutely convinced that spider webs were made from human skin. Ew. Why do the crossings beep? Bro, imagine that was the case. What exactly would that make Spider-Man? He would be probably like a, a serial killer or something. Oh, that is, that is a very creepy thought. For blind people, but blind people can't drive.
I met a girl who tried to warn me about drinking water that had been boiled because she okay. said it boiled away the hydration and you'd still die of thirst if you just drank that. This is the first thing I thought of since I have it pinned Bro. to my wall. Why can't is the vacation calendar on SharePoint read only? What you typed makes no sense. Call me that I understood what it meant. I just wanted to give my boss a hard time. Jeez, did he even really been far even as decided to use even go want to look like? We complained to our IT worker that the system is running Crazy. really slowly. She told us to okay. send her... System is running really slowly. Yeah, that seems like an everyday occurrence in my job. Yeah, okay. A screenshot. Didn't realize... What? Send her a screenshot of... What? The website not loading. You could increase the size of web pages. He had Google open on like a quarter of his screen and pulled out a magnifying glass to see it better. Laptop. Wait, an actual. Wait, are we talking like an actual magnifying glass? Like an IRL one. Bro came prepared. He came prepared for work. It wasn't. It was not necessary. Why did he prepare himself? What the fuck? That's dedication. Hey, oh no! No fucking way. At work. Bro. On it in the last two weeks, within five minutes of this guy touching a computer, it's died, motherboard, and two hard drives. Wait, wait, wait. In the last two weeks, within five minutes of this guy touching a computer, it's died. Okay. For it to die so quickly, you probably have to use like what excessive force or like the other woman just pour water on it or throw it against the wall, maybe. Because I don't think, like, from a software standpoint, you could do that so fast unless you have like one of those what is it called like these, these USB killers that are designed to destroy hardware. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. What did he do? What did he actually do? He's the technological harbinger of death. Skull emoji! A guy I work. Wait! What? What did he do? No fucking closure. What? Man, that's. That's annoying. That's not a cliffhanger I wanted. But I'm guessing he did something to the hardware that he should not have done. Because a brand new computer, five minutes and it's dead. Motherboard and two hard drives. Like, a new motherboard doesn't die that quickly. It's like in the middle of the PC and you have like your, your, your cooler, your uh, GPU on top. It's kind of shielded, right? That shit doesn't die normally within five minutes. Like, you gotta use something else to, to destroy that. And this has pissed me off. I kinda, I kinda wanted closure on this one. How he did it. Or what he did. Said that a football referee runs over the distance of a marathon during a game. I pointed out that a football game was... A football referee, ru referee runs over the distance of a marathon during a game. That's fucking cap right there. That's fucking bullshit. Are we talking American football? Fuck no. Bro, they, they throw the ball. Or that fucking egg, whatever you want to call it. Catch it. And then it's getting called off. For an ad break. And if you're talking football as in European football. <clears throat> that's still bullshit. Like, how are you gonna referee a game? while running a fucking marathon. 
what? Like even half a marathon is unrealistic. It's only 90 minutes long, and yeah. the marathon record was just over two hours, so uh, th that would be impossible. Exactly. He said it was possible because a football referee changes direction a lot during a game, and it all adds up. Was that guy in your department? Like, in your team? Because if he was, I would be genuinely concerned. I would be genuinely concerned if I had to work with someone like that. Like imagine you're going on holidays and he's supposed to be the guy that watches over your stuff in your stead while you're gone. Bro, you come back from your holidays and the entire entire office is fucking burning. How do people like that exist? One girl told me she didn't believe in the Mongols because, uh, well, they seem a bit far-fetched. Blowing balloons up with my what? own air, you know, no gas, etc. prior to a party. No, 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 don't blow up the balloons that fall to the floor. Blow up the floating balloons. What? We need what? to use helium for that. No, you're just not bothering. That's what it is. Dude, stop being an arsehole. Just blow helium for... For, uh, yeah, I mean... Bro, I wish I could just breathe out helium. That would be fucking jokes. That would be content right there. But that's not how we humans work. But apparently for this co-worker or this woman, it does. And that's absolutely true. If a balloon sinks like that, we all know it's because helium is a state of mind. So drink your wine and get your head in the zone, yeah? Now blow up that balloon. And if you think that you're blowing helium, then guess what, mate? Once you've tied the knot in that balloon, you will have breathed helium because you can do anything with a positive attitude. Yay! I I worked with it's it's so easy. Now cry ladder across a guy's chest. I worked with a guy who decided to look for a propane leak on the forklift with a lighter pump that time you know I have a feeling this guy Maybe just didn't enjoy work anymore. Maybe he just wanted, you know, an early weekend, an early retirement, or maybe he just didn't want. Maybe he just didn't want to work anymore for the rest of his life. I I don't know. Basic human knowledge. Apparently, you don't need it to get a job. Like, I don't know what we guys have been doing all our lives, or why we visited school, because apparently you don't need it to get a job, because clearly these, these stories here confirm you can be a fucking moron and you can still get a job. Like, I'm sure these tweets were from a couple years ago, when the economy was a little bit different than it is now. Maybe even pre-COVID. Because... That's crazy. Work with him after that. Took the yeah, wrong good idea. To a funeral. Wait, 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 wait. As in, filled coffin, like with with a person inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say to this. Like, I know mistakes happen. But. This is one of those things that. Just cannot happen. Like, I'm assuming. The coffin was filled with, you know, a person. If it's like. An empty coffin. Okay. Not that bad. But I'm assuming. But since I'm assuming that. There was a person inside. 
That's fucking messed up. To a funeral. An old co-worker named James, we worked at McDonald's and were both 16. Okay. One time while mopping the lobby, he, for some unknown reason, decided to chase a number of customers around with the mop, yelling, I'm gonna get you. He, he was fired on the spot. Yeah. Bro, what was James thinking? I think he's like the guy with the lighter. He just didn't want to work anymore. And he was like, how can I speed run this job? Oh, and he found it. his speed run record right there. Him at a job interview. So why did you leave your last job? My last He just didn't have the same sense of humor as I did. Job? Oh yeah, why did I leave? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the guy was told to wear oven mitts to carry a very hot hotel pan. Guy said, don't worry, I'm strong. Proceeded to... Why? To burn his hands and forearms and drop $300 worth of product. Did he think... I don't understand. Like, I get trying to be a tough guy. Okay. We're, we're guys, you know? It's, I guess, kind of part of our DNA in a way. But I do not understand why at work you're trying to be the tough guy. Like, is it worth injuring yourself just to look cool in front of your coworkers that don't give a shit about you? Like, he burned his hands and forearms and dropped $300 worth of product. Which... Maybe they even fired him for. Or he had to pay for those $300 because he just didn't listen to the advice. The purpose of the mitts was to make weak people stronger. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to be more alpha. And now he's got to pay 300 bucks or lost his job. I don't know. This guy, he always tried to hide at work to avoid working. <clears throat> Listen, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, you sometimes have certain days, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to go into details, just, you know, <laughs> you know. One day I was looking for him and I stepped into the bathroom. I noticed okay. a shoe print on the back of the toilet and I look up, one of the ceiling tiles is pushed a little to the side. I wait, 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 wait. I'm looking on, on my other monitor so I can see it in the bigger picture. And I look up and one of the ceiling tiles is pushed a little to the side. What? Climb up there and this motherfucker is hiding in the ceiling. One. <laughs> okay like speaking of that i have a story as well unfortunately like i wasn't there in purpose uh, in per in person you know you know what i mean i wasn't there in, per in person um i only got told a story from another co-worker um but like many other co-workers like could confirm that that was actually the case. So I highly doubt that this was a lie. I'm pretty sure it's it's a fact. Like there are multiple witnesses or where at the time. So this was basically um, the company I was working during COVID times, like 2020, 2021, you know, the bad times, <laughs> if you want to call them that. And we needed more workers we were kind of struggling so we got new work co uh, new employees and one of those people he was just like a very young guy in his early very early 20s and he had like you could tell from the way he acted he did not want to be here he didn't want to work at all he had that that kind of attitude you know and also he said like from the beginning Oh, I don't, I don't even need to work here. I made so much money from crypto. The only reason I'm here is because of my parents, because they want me to work instead of just sitting around doing nothing. 
Like that's basically how he introduced himself to the other people. Already like right off the bat, great. Like where did you find this guy? But I mean it's COVID times. It's kind of difficult getting new people, so eh, we can't be too picky. Guy called in sick for work regularly, and when he was there, he just if he was there, he just didn't do much. So we already disliked this guy and already considered just firing him because he was more of a burden than a help. And we were willing to give him another shot. But, you know, if you want to stay here, you, you got to deliver at least in some way or form. Like, you got to show us that you actually somewhat want to keep this job, right? Got to put in some, a little bit of effort at least. He didn't do that. And we were all already like considering letting him go. And on one of his regular toilet breaks um, that he took, where he didn't, you know, go to the toilet, just spent inside of the cabinet wasting time on his phone or something. Some guy, which I don't know which one this was, but one co-worker decided to go after him and just just to see, you know what he's going to do in that toilet again for like the eighth time that day. And turns out he was not actually, you know, doing his, his business on the toilet. Surprise, surprise. And as it actually turned out, he was doing cocaine on the toilet. Like, yes, legit. He snorted cocaine on the toilet. <laughs> So yeah, that was his last day with us. And yeah, a little fucking crazy. Like, that, 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 like, that's so fucking messed up. Like doing this at home in your own apartment. Okay, we could argue like, yeah, okay, technically it's illegal, but if you're not hurting anyone, yeah, sure. But you're working for a company. And I think this guy was also, like, one of the guys that was driving a forklift, or potentially or could have driven a forklift because he had like a license or something for it. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Like, if an accident would have happened while this guy was intoxicated, he would probably be in jail and we would be as a company and a lot of shit because that, that's absolutely insane. Like that's the kind of shit that happened uh, at the place I worked during COVID. That's how bad it was. That was fucking crazy. Anyway, I've been rambling too much. Let's finish up this video. The ceiling. One of the lifeguards was really hung over. So we took a shit in the pool. So we didn't have to open up for the the day. Well, no, what? no, that's a stroke of genius. What? Yes, and finally, my co-worker at the bowling alley had to walk down a lane where a group of very young children, maybe four to eight years old, were bowling to retrieve a ball that had stopped in the gutter about halfway down to the pens. When he'd picked up the ball, my other co-worker told him to go walk it back down to the children. However, this guy had it in his what? mind that it would be best to bowl it back down at the group of small children instead. You say small children, I say larger pins. <laughs> Hey, yo, what the f- Okay. Um. Yo. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Um. Yeah, we once again stretched an 8 minute video a little bit longer. Um, but that was pretty nice. I enjoyed that. Kind of rem reminded me of- workers I used to have at one point in time. Not the greatest of memories, but still pretty entertaining. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave me some... What is going on today? If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave me some suggestion. 
for another video for next time. Um, as I said in the beginning, help Matt get to the 1 million that he deserves. Um, and yeah, I would say have a nice Friday. Enjoy your weekend, your well-deserved weekend. And maybe, hopefully, I'll see you in another video. Until then, thank you for watching and bye.